They're getting ready to start. It's freezing and miserable outside. A little bit rainy. And the track's soaked. Jason told me the key is just not to zoom too much. I'll tell you what, taping for 12 and a half laps is not an easy job. First 400, 127. And at 800 meters, 257. That was a little bit early, about three minutes. <laughs> and they're about to approach 1200 and 430. So they're right on six minute pace.
Sorry about that. A bug just hit me in the nose. I had to knock him off. And at the mile, 5.56. It was like, not 5.56. It was 5.59 and then it turned over to 6. Very consistent pace thus far. Very good, solid pace actually. They could just keep it there. Maybe drop a nice little last mile. I'll be in the mid 18s. Got a good little pack on there. Next split is 7.32, so they fell off just a tad bit. These two are losing contact with the pack of four that they were in for the first mile. Hopefully they could come back there. That was my finger. I had to clear off the lens a tad bit. And now we're back. I once again apologize for the quality of this film. I mean, I guess it's better than nothing. And their time now is... Yeah, like 9.08, um, but that was a little bit after. So they did fall off a little bit again, though. Probably not as significantly as 9.08 pace, probably more. It was probably like a 9.05. So I'm assuming they were like a 133 that lap. There we go. Good, Kathleen's passing that one girl. She's making back up on the pack. It's important. Jason once told me that if, when you're losing contact, you gotta hit the gaps. That's very true. Good piece of advice. <sighs> it's also, keep in mind, windy, cold, and rainy. I'm not saying I'm good at videotaping, but 
quality would be slightly better. Should all of these factors not been present. And after 1200, 1040. So they've been averaging about 133 per lap this whole mile. That's about a um, 612 pace. So if they average 612, 612, still high 1850s, which I think she's, Kathleen should be happy with at this point of the season. So we could just. Stay on pace, they might be okay. We're approaching two miles right now. It's races like these that don't make me too jealous I'm not on the track right now. And if it was a gorgeous day, a lot of people here, then I'd be itching, itching to get back, but eh, no motivation. Alright, let's see. Um, they're crossing in about 12.15. So... It was the second mile was about a 6.15. If I saw at the right point, there's guys standing in front of the, the start line now, so. Um, yeah. Sorry. They didn't make it far. It was just like around that turn that I lost them. Kathleen's in a battle with that girl in green right there. I do not feel like taping the men's 5K right now after this. Like I just want to watch it and like enjoy it. And Kathleen adjusts her hair. Oh shit, I didn't get that split. Don't take this wrong, Jason or Kathleen, but women's 5K is like watching paint dry.
All right. Um. Now her overall time is 15:30. 15:30. Okay. That means that her last 800 took approximately. I don't know. One lap to go. Let's go, Kathleen. Let's go. Put it down. Don't let this go. Come on. Use her now. Go with her. Oh, wow. Oh, wait. That might not be the bell lap for her. Because if it was the bell lap for her, then this would be a really fast race. She might have one more to go after this. I'm really confused. If Kathleen only has half a lap to go, her time's going to be ridiculous. But I just think I might be making a mistake and she might not really be finishing. No, I don't know though. She... Wait, Kathleen must still have one lap left. I don't understand. Ow. Ow. Okay, that answers my question. 18 minutes she went through. Wait, is six minute pace? Well, my math must have been completely off, because uh, this is coming around at 19.07 right now. You guys never noticed that? I think she's going to get first on Scram's team. So that's good. And that's it, 1938. 1938.